Hi. Hi, beautiful filmmakers. How are you today? It is Monday. Yay. I hope you guys had a great weekend. I don't know if you were watching some of the awards. It was the weekend of the Independent Spirit Awards and the Oscars. The Oscars were last night. And of course, everyone's all upset about what won and all that kind of thing. And I have to say, I'm just going to put it out there. I think the Oscars are kind of just like life. And life is 50% amazing. Hi, we've got Tanglewood in the house. And I'm so excited because I know that you guys were shooting your trailer, concept trailer this weekend that just passed. And I am so excited for you um, and so happy. Um, yay. Um, so I was just saying about the Oscars last night because some people get very upset about sort of like what wins and what didn't and all that kind of thing. And, you know, I just want to say, first of all, you know, the whole idea of awards for movies is completely silly, right? You know, like at a certain level, movies are, you know, either achieving their goals or they're not. And then it's a matter of taste and some people are going to love it and some people are going to hate it. And your movie, favorite movie is going to be someone else's worst movie of the year and so on. And it's all good, you know? And so I just wanted to say that. And I, I sort of feel like, you know, every year with the Oscars, especially if you're a woman or person of color, you're sort of like watching it from a certain angle and going, are we making any progress? Are we making any progress? Progress. And it's kind of sad, you know, you see some things you think we're making progress and this is awesome, you know, and last night was definitely like that in some ways, but it was also very disappointing in some other ways. You know, when it get to uh, when you get to the best screenplay category and best original screenplay, there's not one female writer, like not one. And then you look at what the movies are about, too, and it's like. I mean, most of them are about guys, you know, and you think, are we ever going to change that? Are we ever going to get to a situation where actually we value women's stories as much as we value men's, you know? And I wrote to a filmmaker today because he was, you know, we were sort of chatting back and forth about the results and he's made an amazing film that has a female central character. And it maybe hasn't been received quite as well as it should have been. And it's really a mystery, you know, like why some films really get so much attention and other films don't. Or maybe it's not a mystery. <laughs> maybe it's all to do with money and distribution. But, um, you know, I said, like, I think part of the problem for his film is that it is about a woman. And I think we're still, we have such strong unconscious bias. Yeah, Tanglewood movie will be changing that. Exactly. We have such strong unconscious bias going on still, whereby... We want, you know, like people sort of still think men's stories are more important. Yeah, it drives me nuts too about lack of female writers. And I think it's like, like if you're a woman, you're writing. I think the message is just do it, double down, you know, like we are going to change this. One year we're going to see there's going to be five women nominated for best screenplay. That's my dream, you know. And I, like we're going to get there. And they won't just be nominated, but they'll be nominated for films about women, you know, like because that's the other part of it for me. I feel like. The only woman who's ever won Best Director was Catherine Bigelow for Hurt Locker. And I said at the time, it's like you couldn't imagine a more masculine film. Like the only way to win as a director is to, if you're a woman, is to make like a really masculine film. And that's just kind of depressing to me. But we have to change it. You know, and the only way we change it, first of all, is by making the content that we want to see ourselves and being brave enough to tell stories that perhaps people, you know, like mainstream has not wanted to tell, has not wanted to listen to, but we will do it, you know? And the other thing that we can do, obviously, is support those films. And we support them both when they're being made, we support those filmmakers, and then also we support them once they are made. So anything that we can do to help promote them. Because something that really is difficult for a lot of films with female, you know, the female driven films is that they are not treated the same when they are made, like after they're made. Most critics are men. Aha, surprise, you know, and they often don't love the films about women. And, you know, most people who are programming festivals are men. You know, this just goes across the board with everything. So until we have total gender parity in all the roles, it's going to continue to be an uphill struggle. But it's a struggle worth fighting. You know, that's my take on it anyway. So, you know, I hope you enjoyed some of the awards anyway. Because I just think it's... I, I Like, I tune into it. I sort of... I don't watch them religiously. I sometimes watch them, sometimes don't. Something Last night I was putting my kid to bed. You know, so I missed half of it. I do, though. I don't know. I'm a sucker for seeing people win as well. Like, I just love that moment when someone who didn't expect to win hears their name getting called out and they're just over the moon. And I just like, I don't, you know, I think for all of us, seeing that level of success and seeing that is just lovely, you know, like seeing people, because you know that everyone that gets up on that stage has worked so hard for it, you know, and it's not that only they deserve it because other people deserve it too, 
but they definitely do as well and I just I enjoy that I you know I just plug into the positive there and, and try to enjoy that although let's not even talk about the best picture <laughs> all right so moving on from uh, awards and as I say it's all really kind of silly because it's not about that it's not about winning it's not about being you know the best you know it's really about the process that's what I'm obsessed with and I think if you make a film and you actually get out there and do it you've won you know and you'll win through the process of making your movie I, that's been my experience certainly the question that I wanted to deal with today came from a filmmaker who is making a web series and she's about to do a concept trailer for that and I want to apologize to this filmmaker because I haven't actually emailed her back to let her know that I'm talking about it today but I will send her a message after this um, I got this sort of sent to me quite late and it's from over a week ago this message so um yeah so i just but this is what it is she wrote to me and she said i've been struggling to get web series made since last january i created the series and started 2018 with setting deadlines so she's like in that working towards them if there was an obstacle i slammed into it yeah that happens a few months ago i decided to shoot a proof of concept instead of a 10 minute pilot and step out of my comfort zone use the proof of concept for a crowdfunding campaign and i go yay that is such a good idea you know and i think at times when we're like really trying and we were talking about that last week when you're really trying to do one thing and it's not working out sometimes the smartest thing is to step back and maybe try a different strategy so i like i applaud you i think this is a great plan this is a passion project for me yes good that's the best kind of project it's a dramedy blah 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 Everybody loves the idea and the scripts, but I can't pay the going rate for crew members. Now, I have to be honest, I don't think you have to pay them for doing a proof of concept. I am obsessed with paying everybody the going rate when you actually get to shoot your, um, you know, shoot your show or shoot your movie. Uh, but I don't think you have to for a proof of concept. I think you really try to get people to work um, for free. You know, well, I don't, it's not even for free, it's for deferred payment. And she does say, I've scraped together $1,000 for my overall budget. That's awesome. Don't like the word scrape though. Like I would like a more abundant mindset around that. But you've got thousand dollars for the overall budget and have the lead characters offering them gas. Yes, I see, you know, good food keeps good moods. I totally agree. Spend all your money on food and, you know, and people will be happy. I'm offering them gas, money, copy and IMDB credit, which is awesome. My shoot is planned for March 8th and 9th. But you might be wondering, what's the problem here? She goes on to say, I'm managing everything myself and I'm overwhelmed and I'm stressed. I already pushed the shooting back, date back twice. I've never done that for a film, music video, etc. Okay, my advice here, because I was like reading this, I was going, what's the problem? You have it all figured out, <laughs> you know? You're making a proof of concept. You've got some money for it. You haven't got a ton of money, but you've got enough to cover the basics. Somebody's like, welcome to the club, <laughs> you know? And you are stressed and overwhelmed. And I go, your problems here, in my opinion, are more about mindset than logistics. Because logistically, it seems like you have most of the things. Logistically, though, there might be one thing that's missing, which is a producer who is shouldering some of the burden with you. So let's just look, because the problem, obviously, is I'm overwhelmed and I'm stressed. And when you're in that frame of mind, it's going to be very hard to make something that's really good. I really believe that, because you need to be clear. You need to be just, like, you know, relaxed. You need to be in that zone where you can just enjoy creating your proof of concept and not that you're stressed and overwhelmed and feeling horrible about everything. So I just would ask you two things. One, right, on a logistical um, basic level, what do you feel you need that would make you not stressed? And I would ask you to just sit down and write this down, just write down that question. What, would, what do I need that would make this fun? You know, what am I missing that would make this easy? And then I just want you to write that. Just like do some free writing on it and see what comes up. Do you need a producer? Do you need, do you need, who do you need? Do you need a caterer? Like what is it that's stressing you? Why are you overwhelmed and stressed? Who do you need? And then you get them, right? I mean, it sounds crazy, but like, I think sometimes we get married to our overwhelm and our stress, you know, and we make things more difficult than they need to be. And it's like, how do you just simplify it, you know? Besides from deadlines, you know, my other big obsession is how do you simplify things? How do you make it easier for yourself, right? So what will make this like not overwhelming and not stressful for you? Ask yourself that and listen to the answer. And maybe you'll like come up with like, I realize like I really need help with this. I really need help with that. You know, I need help. I need someone who's just going to like, um, 
organize the catering and the this and the that. I need somebody who's, I want a locations manager. I just wish there was somebody who would be totally in charge of that. You know, whatever it is, just get clear about it and then get it. It doesn't need to be a stress party. It should not be a stress party. You're making something, it's creativity, that's awesome. It should be fun, it should be joyful. It is hard work, I'm not gonna lie about that. You know, you're gonna work for 12 hours a day or something, but, you know, you're gonna work before that and after that. But, like, don't let yourself go into this zone. There's no need for it, all right? So, as I say, the first thing I want you to do is just sit down and do free writing. What would make this not stressful? And then do those things, like find the way to do it, right? Don't push this shooting back date again. Don't do that, right? You've got, you've got everything you need. At a certain point, you need to take the leap. And this is where I'm gonna get into the mindset issues. And I think, and it sounds like kind of corny, but I just go, like when you say that you've ran into every obstacle possible and then it's like, oh, I've scraped together this money and I'm managing everything myself, but I'm overwhelmed and stressed. I start to think like, I feel like you are like on some subconscious level sabotaging your own project. Okay, and you might be like, no, you're crazy. You're like totally crazy. I would never do that. We do it. We all do it, <laughs> you know? Um, I Like I recommend, you sort of like dive into this for yourself, right? Because I just go, what, what, what is the fear that is blocking you here? You know, because I feel like there is some kind of fear that's stopping you, you know, and that's making you, and so then you create overwhelm and you create stress and you can blame that, you know, and you can like push the date again. Don't push the date again, okay? You have this. Like I'm reading this, I'm like, everybody loves the scripts. Do it. Stop the stress, stop the overwhelm, and just shoot the thing, okay? You can do this. And really, like, do the mind work for yourself. I want you to, like, even if it's, like, saying affirmations, I am making this easy, right? Everything that I need is coming to me. Everything I need to make this amazing is coming to me. The world is going to love this web series, okay? So I want you to, like, seriously, write down these kinds of affirmations and start working them. Change your mindset, change the story that you're telling yourself. If you keep telling yourself that you're overwhelmed and stressed and everything's against you and it's hard, do you know what? It's going to continue to be hard. But if you tell yourself, it's gonna be easy, right? And it does start with that, like you just start going, everything I need is coming to me and this is gonna be easy, it's gonna start being easy. All right, and this sounds crazy and it maybe sounds like glib, it sounds too easy, right? but I'm telling you it's true, try it, all right? So I want you to even like write down like all your complaints about the situation, everything that you think is hard and overwhelming, just write it all down, let yourself go for a page or something, maybe even two pages if there's a lot of bad things. And then what I want you to do is just like, go back to those and take every single sentence and say to yourself, is this true, right? And what can I do about it, right? And just like make it clear and give yourself space, right? Because when we go into that overwhelm, we go into the stress, right? We don't see things clearly. Just break it down. Is it really so overwhelming? Is it really so stressful? All right, I hope that helps. This is like this, this is the work. I mean, I'm telling you, I feel like, you know, so much of what we do is about this and it's not the outside world. We like to blame the outside world. And we like to say, you know, the problems are, you know, these things in the outside. But I feel like 90% of our problems as filmmakers are actually things on the inside. It's us limiting ourselves. It's us telling ourselves that it's hard, that it's too confusing, that it's overwhelming. It's not, you know, when you just break it down, keep it simple, keep clear, ask for the help you need, get the help you need, sort out what you need, it's no problem. All right, so I hope that helps. Um, I will email this filmmaker today to make sure she can see this. And please, um, you know, to this filmmaker, let me know if this helps you. Let me know if there's anything else that would help you. And for everybody else that's joined today and that will see this perhaps uh, later, I've been posting these on YouTube, you know, let me know what you think, if this helps you. Um, because that's why I do this, you know, so that it's not just for that person that writes to me, but also for other people. Um, I really, you know, together I feel like we can overcome these issues, you know, because so many of us are experiencing the same thing. We all go through the doubt, we all go through the stress, we all go through the overwhelm, and we don't need to. 
All right, you guys, I hope you have a wonderful Monday. Oh, just before I sign off, there is one last thing I should tell you, which I'm so excited about. Um, I, I posted today, there is, I have a Facebook group of uh, people who are like follow these sort of methods to make movies. And I posted today there about deadlines and, you know, the importance of like, we're coming to the end of the month and what you want to achieve this week and make sure you know what you want to do. Um, so please do that. My own one is I'm going to finish this um, treatment that I'm writing for a potential series. I've, I've just been procrastinating like crazy on it. You know, there's always an excuse, right? You know, and it's usually to do with children, but sometimes it's also to do with other things. So I've been procrastinating like crazy. I am going to finish my, uh, yeah, <laughs> I see some moms. There's some moms there already going, yeah, I get it. Um, but I'm going to finish writing that treatment. That's totally my goal this week. My other really exciting thing is that I am going to be launching a screenwriting course, which it's just awesome. It's this screenwriting course that I've actually been teaching in Denver for a while now. There's dozens of people have done it and I've sort of honed the material and then I decided wouldn't this be amazing to have it online so that anyone that's writing a screenplay and that wants this kind of help can just jump on and, and get it and it's basically like you write a first draft of your screenplay in eight weeks. Um, hey, I'm just seeing a message. Thinking about the top of the top of the mountain is much more overwhelming than thinking of the next footstep exactly exactly don't that's why i always go don't even think about the top of the mountain just think about the next footstep you know that's the key just keep thinking about where you are today and what you can achieve today and don't worry about all the rest but when you keep taking that consistent action you get there um so just to go back to the screenwriting course so if any of you guys are feeling like you know you're getting ready to write a new script do um, check this out. There's actually nothing up about it yet. I'm thinking just like make sure you're on my email list. You can get on my email list via my website and we will be launching it later this week. And basically the way it will work is like when you sign up for it, you will immediately receive the first video lesson and each week for eight weeks, you'll receive a video lesson um, plus you'll get a PDF and plus you'll get into the Facebook group and just like support for it. And I am super excited about it because I just feel like it's an amazing way to write a first draft and to get it finished in eight weeks. Um, and I, I think just after I launch it, I intend to write a screenplay that I haven't written one for quite a while. And that has been crazy because, you know, I've, like for decades, my whole thing has been writing screenplays. And for some reason, the last couple of years has been a really dry time for me. Um, I have been doing other things, like I've sort of focused on teaching and I wrote the book about filmmaking and stuff like that, but somehow just like that impulse to write screenplays just withered and it sort of was partly uh, Donald Trump getting elected and it was partly having a baby, I don't know, but I'm so ready to write a new screenplay. So I personally am going to be writing a screenplay soon, starting maybe next week. Oh. Uh, and I might, I think I might just go through the process that I'll be teaching in the course. So if you guys, if any of you are interested in that, make sure you get on my email list. Literally later this week, we will be opening registration for that. And it's going to be awesome. Well, I think it is because I just think people writing screenplays is great and I love helping them. All right, you guys, thank you so much for those of you who are with me right now. And for those of you who are seeing this later, have an awesome day and thanks.